Welcome to another episode of Theater Corner. I'm your host, Michael Taylor. Theater Corner is an interview series created as an ongoing effort to promote more diverse interests and involvement in the theater scene. Silence your cell phones, folks. You're about to enter Theater Corner. Albert Jones is an accomplished actor of the stage, film, and television with a noted flair for Shakespearean theater. He's appeared in the Broadway production of Henry IV, the off-Broadway production of Macbeth and Richard III, and he's performed extensively in regional theaters across the country. This former University of Notre Dame football player has also appeared in a number of critically acclaimed films and television series such as The Bourne Ultimatum, American Gangster, House of Cards, The Night Of, and The Affair. Currently, Mr. Jones stars in the Old Globes production of Red Velvet, which tells the incredible story of Ira Aldrich, a 19th century American Shakespearean actor who becomes the first black man to play Othello on the English stage. In today's episode of Theater Corner, Albert Jones sits down with me to discuss Ira Aldridge's remarkable life and legacy, and the enduring question of why theater matters. Albert Jones, thank you so much for coming to visit a brother here on uh, Theater Corner. Uh, I know you're, you're very busy, you're, you're performing this week, so I, I just want to, I want to say how much I appreciate you for coming by. Thank so, you for having me, I'm happy to be here. All right, and since you're such a strong Shakespearean <laughs> actor, we, we want to start this uh, episode of Theater Corner in a, in a, in a lighthearted way with, okay. uh, with what I refer to as a barred battle. Barred battle. Something like a rap battle. This is a barred battle. Interesting. So I'll, I'll give you what I have and, and, and a form of welcoming you here, and then you can, you can bring what you got mm. and let's see. Uh, mm. Okay, let's, let's give it a try. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mr. Jones. Never came trouble to my house in the likeness of your grace, for trouble being gone, comfort should remain. But when you depart from me, sorrow abides, and happiness takes its leave. Oh, mm. oh. <laughs> that's good. Um, I, I, I was in that show. That's why ah, it's funny. Cause I remember, okay. Yeah, I remember that. Um, so I'm going to do uh, a little fellow, which I've never done. Uh -huh. but, uh, yeah. Her father loved me, often invited me, still questioned me the story of my life. And that makes me think of Ira a little bit. Mm. The story of his life. And that's what we're here oh, okay. to do. So we're. Well, I'm, I'm officially slain. Oh, oh. <laughs> I've lost, lost a battle. Oh, no. <laughs> Thank you so much for, for, for participating. My pleasure. <laughs> so I, I actually, uh, I sat here in these seats, in these red velvet seats, <laughs> and, 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 and witnessed your, your performance. And I've and I got to say, it's, uh, it's, it's, in, it's intense. It's, it's amazing here. Liberty, you're, you're, you're quite a talent, and uh, quite quite gifted, and, and and you're a gift to theater. Mm, uh, I, I would you. say that you're a gift to theater, and uh, so in, in preparing for the role of, uh, of Ira Aldrich in Red Velvet, uh, did you discover anything about this pivotal figure that perhaps uh, surprised you or even uh, resonated with you uh, in a meaningful? Way? Oh, absolutely, so many things. I mean, first of all, um, I think I kind of told you that I only knew a little. I basically knew the name, but that was it. And that um, the more I got into it, the more I researched uh, not just the play, but this man, um, I was saddened, I was upset <laughs> um, that I didn't know more about him, and, and more people don't know more about him, um, that he's not as notorious as he deserves to be. Um, so when I, when I think about him, I think about all those people that had to overcome just incredible obstacles. Um, and in doing so, 
got to a level where their talent should have allowed them to go another step, but they were, that access was denied. And that's the heartbreaking thing about this play. We're looking at basically three days in this man's life. Um, but what we see is what was kind of um, a, pr a promising um, opportunity that wasn't fully realized. He went on to have you know, a very successful career, mm -hmm. um, but this play looks at what could have happened or what didn't happen, um, which is hard for me. Right, right, right. I mean, it's I, myself, you know, I, I was not aware of, uh, of Ira, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, I was a little disappointed in myself. Yeah. But it's, it's like hidden figures. Yeah. It was, it, I, I felt the same way, mm -hmm. sitting in the theater watching that. Yeah, we have, a, we have a lot of stories as, as people like that. Just the other day when I was getting ready for the, for the show, I was thinking about my own grandfather and just stories that he would tell me about how uh, he wanted to go to law school and was um, uh, overtly, blatantly discouraged. And that doesn't necessarily equate to what Ira went through, because that we're talking about 1833, mm -hmm. this story takes place, and a whole different set of circumstances that he had to combat. But these kind of um, denials um, are, are a through line for African Americans in particular. So. Um, that's something I try to tap into. All right. yeah. you, you bring it out, then you, you deliver it well. I mean, it's, uh, it, it is an amazing story, uh, truly an amazing story. And so watching you on the stage uh, definitely communicates to you why theater matters. Mm -hmm. And so I'm wondering, at what point did, did theater start to matter to you uh, as, as, as an actor? Mm -hmm. And maybe even why, how, would it, since theater start to matter. Yes. Yeah. Great question. I'm, I remember being um, a kid in high school um, and going to see a production of Fences mm. and and being mesmerized um, by all of the characters on stage, but um, Troy in particular. So uh, that stuck out in my mind. Um, and then you know. Uh, taking a few classes here and there, um, learned learned that I had an affinity for it, um, but it wasn't really until um, college was about to end and then I went to grad school and really started to understand what theater was and what mm -hmm. it means. And um, you know, as as you work professionally, you start to understand the the power of it. Um, I mean, I'm a big believer in that. There's a spirituality that is available in the room, in the dynamic between the audience and the performer. And uh, the, all I try to do is to tap into that, is to try to tell the story in a way that we can all um, kind of cathartically um, experience something. Mm -hmm. And it takes the audience, and it takes the performers, and it takes an openness um, amongst everyone to, to get there. But um, that's the power of theater. And I, I believe you change the world that way. I really believe that. When, see the time pass, but um, that's what I love about it. Mm -hmm. um, and then Shakespeare, I mean, it's the, it's the characters, the writing, it's the, it's the journey you get to take, it's what it requires as uh, an actor that, that I love. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, great writing is great writing. It doesn't matter when it was written, it doesn't matter who it was written for, um, it, it's apparent. And when you start to work on plays like, well, let me st stick with this play. I was gonna say you know, some Shakespearean plays, but we know that. This play, I was so surprised at how many levels there were to the, to the script. I read it initially and, and loved it, and, and then went back again later that night, read it again, and as I started to work on it, it just revealed more and more depth and more and more layers to it. Um, great writing does that. That's, that's a gift. Mm. Yeah, for that. So we, we see the obstacles that uh, Ira. Mm -hmm. um, do you happen to share any of those experiences uh, along your way? Uh, mm. Because, gee whiz, you, you are a black actor who mm. has as much experience as you have. Mm. You know, I, yeah, well, I mean, no, I don't want to make it sound like I'm, uh, you know, the Shakespearean actor or anything like that. I, we, but we, do, like, well, we do what we can. We do what opportunities are right. afforded to us. That's the only similarity. Um, 
because I don't want to reduce the scope and the breadth of what Ira meant mm -hmm. um, historically to anything I've experienced. That's not that's not accurate. Um, but in terms of yes, opportunities and what you have to do to pursue them, you have to go an extra mile. He had to leave his country. He had to go mm -hmm. to another one, and um, you know, and, and and fight and have perseverance to get his opportunity. So that's something that's um, shared by. I think a lot of actors, of all colors, of all genders. Yeah. Uh, so you, you've played quite a few theaters in the country. But is there anything that you experience here at the Old Globe that, that you've been taking with you as, as you as you as you leave? Mm -hmm. um, I, I was struck by just the artistry on every level. I know for a fact that everyone, um, you, you know, behind the scenes. Um, front of the house, it seems like everyone uh, knew about the play, was interested in the play, was passionate about the play. The set design was amazing, the costume design was amazing. One time I had a fitting, and then I went downstairs to see like the costume shop. There was like 30 people working on the costumes. And I was like, <laughs> okay, we have our work to do too now, because there's so much stuff that goes on behind the scenes, and, and everyone is... Um, uh, they're just all true artists. It, it made me uh, inspired. It made me uh, want to work harder, make sure I was doing my part um, to make this this play work. Uh, yeah, very good. Um, I guess I, I I I watched this play on opening night, and that last scene, <laughs> I'm telling you, that 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 that, that was quite striking, yeah. and I was close enough to the stage. I didn't get seats. <laughs> I was close enough to the stage. You know, afterwards, when you guys came back out and, and took a bow, I mean, I could, I could see that you were, you were spent. I mean, you put it all out there. I mean, is there any particular thing you're drawing from that, uh, that, that's putting you, or maybe it's the story itself, but you, mm -hmm. you really, uh, you, you put out, you put out quite a bit. Uh, for, for the longest time, um, I didn't understand the last scene, and um, I think to understand it and to play it, you need to understand the journey of the entire play. Mm -hmm. Until you've really flushed out that, the rest of it out, the ending doesn't really um, resonate within the actor, I, I don't think. Perhaps in any play, but particularly in this one, I think. Um, and there is some note that the director gave me that I don't precisely recall, but it was just kind of to open it up. Just like go further with every feeling you have in, in those last moments because the audience needs that to understand what we're trying to convey with the whole story. And I was like, oh wow, I mean, we've worked so hard up to this point, I don't want to not give everyone that kind of release. Um, so I, I just, I tried to do that. I tried to just go as far as I could with every little moment. Um, and since then, you know, I've, I've Continue to just try to explore and, and um, you know, play with how far you can push um, different different elements in that final scene. Yeah, it's, it's something I appreciate it. Um, um, before we before we leave, can you tell the fans uh, what you're doing in 2017? Once you once you leave uh, the globe here, what's 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 in store for for Albert? Jeez, I. Um, I don't know. That's that's the one thing is that you never know what's uh, what's next. Um, there was a television show that I worked on that's gonna that's gonna come out sometime next year called Mindhunter on Netflix, um, but nothing um, compares to the fact that uh, I'm having another daughter. My wife is pregnant, oh, so wow. that's that's really what's happening um, as soon as I close this. Yeah. Heading back to New York. Heading back to New York. And Ready for daughter number two. Daughter number two. Daughter number two. Beautiful. Yeah. All right. <laughs> more responsibility. Yeah. Yeah. A little more. A little more responsibility. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna let you uh, get ready. Thank you for your your performance. And, and, and thank you again from the bottom of my heart to, for taking out time to come to visit us here in the theater corner and uh, keep giving us the gift that you have. Oh, thank you, brother. And. Uh, Thank you, viewers, for, for tuning in to Theater Corner, and we'll see you on next episode. Bye-bye. <laughs>